Hello and welcome to another Detective Squirrel Investigates video. In this video we will be looking at the phenomena of the fictional band. Uh, many you know, TV series and films have actually had uh, bands with it appearing on them uh, who in some cases did actually release records in the charts. The earliest example of this is possibly earlier than most people think as you have to go way back to the 1950s for the first appearance of Elvin and the Chipmunks but it wasn't only Elvin and his, and his friends but another group appeared on the series called the Nutty Squirrels seems to be a good place to start on a channel with called Detective Squirrel uh, they actually had a in 1959 with uh oh not to be confused with the shampoo hit of uh oh we're in trouble <laughs> When we get to the 60s, obviously there's the monkeys, but they were, as far as they were concerned, they were a real band. So we won't actually include them on this list. But we will include, from that started in 1968, the banana splits. Also at the end of the 60s we also got the animated series of the Archies based in the Riverdale of the Archie comics and the Archies were also a band who released and had a huge hit in 1969 with Sugar Sugar. And now the Riverdale Carnival presents the Archies. Take care of the kissing booth while we're singing, Sabrina. Okay, everybody, here we go with our new hit record, Sugar, Sugar! Sugar.
We move into the 1970s with the Monty Python, Python, Python group disbanding and deciding to go their separate ways while Michael Palin and Terry Jones would be having ripping yarns and uh, John Cleese would go on to do Faulty Towers. Eric Idle and the uh, often musical collaborator of the Pythons, Neil Innes, came up with the idea of the Ruttles. Now this started as an idea that uh, actually... John Cleese mentioned as a jokingly as Rutland Weekend Television. Eric Idle always actually finding humour in the idea of something very small being able to do something quite grand. So Rutland, as Rutland is the smallest county in England, the idea of Rutland Weekend Television, the actual county of Rutland having their own television station, was a fantastic idea. He would actually go on to actually buy the idea from John Cleese for a pound. And then Rutland Weekend Television became his solo project. As part of the series, they would have to have things like ridiculous things like the tiny Rutland Weekend Television presenting their version of... Tolstoy's War and Peace and stuff like that but another idea they actually came up with was a um, Rutland Weekend television comedy version of the Beatles called The Ruttles Of course, also in the 1970s, we had a little film called Star Wars. And in Star Wars, there is also a band who plays in the cantina, often by many people actually just referred to as the Cantina Band. And in fact, the only official name for the piece of music they're playing is Cantina Band, Cantina Number One. But they're actually... The actual name of the actual group is Figrin Dan and the Modal Nodes. When we move into the 80s, we get some an interesting situation where over in America we have the huge hit of the film This Is Spinal Tap with the fictional British rock band of Spinal Tap. <laughs> Hewn into the living rock 
But at the same time in the UK, Adrian Ebbison, uh, with his friends, with his fellow comedians at the Comic Strip Presents, where it came up with their own British heavy rock, heavy metal band, which is called Bad News. I'm a warrior, the blood won't wash away. I'm a warrior. Obviously, there were some suggestions at the time that one ripped off the other, but it just happened we've got two people in either side of the Atlantic Ocean coming up with a very similar idea. But then we actually that leads us into one of the biggest ideas and one of the biggest success, most successful fictional bands, uh, that of the Blues Brothers, the idea actually originally from Saturday Night Live and the Saturday Night Live alumni of John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd and they would go on to actually obviously make the film of the Blue Brother, Blue, Blues Brothers uh, to give the band its full title it's actually the Blues Brothers Rhythm and Blues Review Also in, in, in the 80s we had the film Coming to America where we were introduced to Randy Watson and these and sexual chocolate. It feels so lovely to be here tonight. What a beautiful lot. Give yourselves a round of applause. You're so lovely. Everyone's so lovely. And um, while you're in the clapping mood, I'd like to give a big round of applause to my band Sexual Chocolate. <laughs> sexual Chocolate. They play so fine, don't you agree? I believe the children are our future. Thank you. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride. Make it also in the 80s, we were first introduced to Bill and Ted as they went on their excellent journey before having a focus journey and then uh, more recently facing the music with their band Wild Stallions. I'm Bill S. Preston. 
Captain Esquire. And I'm Captain... Bill, here, you take it. Okay. And I'm Ted Theodore Logan. Yeah! In the uh, film Back to the Future, and also in Back to the Future Part 2, we are introduced at the Enchantment Under the Sea darts in the 1950s to Marvin Berry and the Starlighters. Now, I hate to spoil the illusion for uh, many of you, but Marvin Berry, there is no such person as Marvin Berry, at least, you know, Chuck Berry didn't have um, a cousin called Marvin Berry. So, it, so they're also a fictional band. Guitar. This is for all you lovers out there. You know, it's not the only time that uh, band, fictional bands have actually been the subject of films. Much later on we had the uh, Hugh Grant romantic comedy musical lyrics where he, it was the uh, Alex Fletcher, lead, former lead singer of the 80s pop band which was called, well, Pop. Later we also got the That Thing You Do, named after the main song in the actual film, performed by the band The Wonders, who start out with the idea with of being The Wonders, with the one being actually a num numerical one, but that led to some confusion where they would actually be comically known as The Oneidas, rather than The Wonders. And so it's actually just changed as the wonders, as in, I wonder what happened to the Oneidas. Well, uh, thanks to um, YouTube's stupid copyright actually rules, um, don't have a video from uh, the wonders so instead it is actually um, a little 
bonus put in here with um, Michael Myers well not that Michael Myers uh, the uh, comic actor and writer Mike Myers and his character of Austin Powers and uh, who actually was in a fictional band called Ming T Mrs. Will ya make me tea? Make love to me. Put on the telly to the BBC. Mrs. William Made me tea Made love to me Put on the telly To the BBC To the BBC My love to me Put on the telly Finally, for the movie fictional bands, we turn to Harry Potter, where they have the uh, band Weird Sisters appearing at the dance, and their lead singer is Myron Wagtail, who was actually played by Jarvis Cocker of Pop. Sorry. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Shh, shh, shh. Um, for the first time playing live here at Hogwarts, please welcome the band that needs no introduction! Leave us! Alright, Hogwarts! Are you ready for some real music? Come on! I want to see your hands in the air! You're looking good! I'm going to teach you a brand new dance tonight! Are you ready? I like a hairy crow I learn it to rock and roll I spin around like a crazy elf I dancing by himself I boogie down like a unicorn I no stop until the break of dawn I put your hands up in the air Like an ogre who just don't care ah, Can you dance like a evil grip? My, 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 my. Flying off from the cliff, my, 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 Swimming down to the ground, my, 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 Wheel around and around and around and around, my, 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 Oh! Groove around like a scary ghost, spooking himself the most. Shake your booty like a bogger in pain, again and again and again. Get it on like an angry spectre Who's definitely out to get ya Stamp your feet like a leprechaun Get it on, get it on Can you dance like a hypocrite? My, 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 my Flying off from a cliff My, 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 my Swimming down to the ground My, 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 my Mama, 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 yeah, yeah. 
And before we end this video, we will actually go back to the animated series where we will actually talk about two fictional bands that appeared in The Simpsons at first. Um, first of all, there is the uh, a cappella group of the headmaster, Seymour, um, Apu, Barney, uh, of course, Homer Simpson, and Ma the B Sharps. to be outdone by his father uh, even well I mean obviously the uh, there was a solo hit by Bart Simpson called Do the Bart Man which actually charted well but he was also in a fictional band himself with his friends a band called Party Posse Oh say can you ride Trouble in a far off nation. Time to get in love formation. Your love's more deadly than Saddam. And that's why I gotta drop the bomb. Party, party! <laughs> not to be outdone by the Simpsons it was a fictional band that appeared also in South Park with Cartman and his friends um, so we will finish off with this one and this group is Finger Band Tonight Stellar Productions presents the boy band of the decade it's Finger Band live from Madison Square Garden you actually enjoyed that fun little video um, if you did please hit that like button uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already don't forget to uh, hit the uh, notification bell to keep you up, uh, updated for upcoming videos on this channel and in the meantime it's Detective Squirrel out <laughs>